Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to make an all-natural um, multi-surface cleaner that smells so amazing, and I love it. I've been using it for a while now, and it works great. Um, I use this solution to clean my bathroom, to clean my counters, to clean my faucets, to clean floors. I, I use it just about everything. Um, so you just need a few really simple ingredients, and it's also going to smell really good. So the first tip you're going to need to get is a spray bottle. This one I got at Target. It was about $5, which is a little bit more than a Hermit Tom or just a spray bottle. But um, originally I just bought like a dollar one from the dollar store. It broke. <laughs> and then I bought a dollar one at Walmart, and that one lasts a little bit longer, but it still broke. But this one is really durable, and I just labeled it multi-cleaner. Okay, next thing you're going to need is water. I have some water in this little mouthwash container that I'm going to repurpose as a container to put my cleaner in. And then the most important um, ingredient is vinegar. I got this really good jug for really cheap at Target. I think it's like two fifty, and I've only had only used half of it, and it lasted me quite a long time. Um, and these, and then um, your soap. Antibacterial orange. And then the next thing are optional, but this is what makes it smell really well. Aromatherapy oils. I'm currently using the sweet orange. Um, this I found actually at my grocery store in the organic section. And this was only $3. And I've used it for a lot of things. You feel like you use tea tree oil, things like that. And it's lasted me quite a few months. I think I got it around Christmas, and I still have about that much left. And then another optional thing is um, citrus um, skins. So as you can see, I have this jar. I usually put it in a mason jar, but right now I'm just using the pizza sauce, um, repurposing that. And what I have done is I have soaked um, mostly oranges, but um, also some limes in vinegar in this um, into this jar and just let it soak for a couple weeks. Um, when I make this, I might just put a few limes in with the solution just to keep it going. Um, citruses are actually like really good um, cleaning um, components. They work really well. Um, you're also going to need a funnel. And then I also, this is just my personal, I use a martini strainer and a glass. Um, you can also use a um, colander or whatever, really whatever you need, and a measuring cup. Alright, so this is, this is how easy it is to make this. So I've already put um, a cup of water into my container that I'm going to use it. Um, you can always just throw it into the um, spray bottle if you want. I just leave it just being a bowl. So I'm just making, I'm just going to um, put this aside. Um, so I'm just, while I have the ingredients that I need, and just so I can show you guys, I'm going to just put it in here, like I said. So I'm going to start off by taking my vinegar that I've soaked and smells amazing in um, all of my orange um, peels. Pour that in the glass. And these actually have not been soaked in that long, so I plan on just kind of reusing these once I'm done. So basically the only measurement you need to remember is two for one. So I have a cup of water. Remember, so we're just going to do a half cup. And I'm using the martini shaker to get out So there's a half cup. Use my funnel. Just a few drops of aromatherapy oil. One, two, three, four, five. I'll do about five. And you can add more if you want, depending on how you want it to smell. And that's it. That is how easy.
easy it is to make. Put your cap on, shake it up. I can do it in its mouth. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, God. There you go. You have your stand. And um, it's so cheap. It costs like a penny to make or something ridiculous. I don't, I haven't really um, calculated how much exactly it is to make. But it is something really, really cheap. Um, you can even, I might even do this, like take some of the corn shakers and just put them into the bottle so that they can still, still be working and smelling good um, while you're waiting to use it. And it doesn't go bad, it doesn't get moldy. Don't get putting it into your vinegar if it's literally kind of dessert. For, um, I have a Lindman Freedom Malt, as you can see I've also um, made it as ads for that, and you can add, it's basically like a slipper wet gel, but it's cleaner and cheaper, and so I have this solution in here, so that when I mop my floors, that solution comes out and it smells really good, and it cleans really well, so yeah, that's all there is to it, and then once you're ready to put this in your spray bottle, um, your funnel it down, put it on top of the spray bottle, and pour this in, and you're done. And it takes literally, there's no chemicals, there's nothing you're breathing in. It's better for the environment. It's cheaper, and it took me less time to make this than it would it for me to go down the aisle in a Walmart, pick out my cleaner, and purchase it. <laughs> so yeah, really easy. Thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Okay.